everybody, hope you're doing well. I'm really pushed for time this week. So, Adam, detector, field, let's do it. Okay, as I said in the intro, I'm uh, very pushed for time this week. I've only got a couple of hours max. Um, this is one of my permissions, that's a public facing location. Uh, it's actually a local family attraction and they've asked me to be out by a certain time because they're gonna start getting busy because it's the summer and you know everyone's out. So I've got the legend, um, I'm on a location, as I said, it's quite uh, public facing, so I'm gonna treat it like a park. I'll be in park mode, uh, sensitivity 25. I'm gonna keep the recovery speed fairly low. Uh, to start with, I may up it later. I'm going to go probably about three on the recovery speed. Uh, it'll be the ground discrimination pattern. And I've got the LG35, the massive LG35 13 and a half inch coil. Let's get cracking. Okay, first target, 35. Strong 35, all the way to the right of the ferry check. Three bars down on the depth. Should mention I'm in M1 today as well. And 60 tone. Let's have a little look and see what we've got here. Mute the machine. There we go. There we go. A pair of glasses. Well, um, <laughs> well, part of a pair of glasses. Question is. Are they modern or are they old? Zoom in a little bit. Not sure, any spectacle experts out there? They've definitely been there a while. You can look at how the metals reacted. It's not like it was dropped last week. Strange one. All right, I'll check the hole, see if there's any other parts in there. Otherwise, onward. Okay, next one. Solid uh, sound, 48, which is 2P territory. So I'm pretty much expecting a 2P coin. All the way to the right of the ferro. Four bars down. And uh, as it's all the way to the right of the ferro check, I'm sort of expecting it to be an older one without the iron core in it. So let's give that a little dig. See what we've got. God, this ground is tough. There we go. I think it's just little areas of this ground are just really compacted. Okay, got it on the pinpointer now. Just there. Uh, get down with the trail a bit closer. Ground is so hard. This ground is rock solid. Ah, 
I've not got the coin now. There it is. Oh, that's hard work. Probably only for a TP as well. Yeah. There we are. Two pence piece. Now, it was an old one like I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it looks like it by the uh, age of Her Majesty. Yep, 1971. So, first issue. Way before they put the uh, steel cores in the middle. Two new pence. Cool, onward. Okay, another target here. I have gone up to five on the recovery speed. Just felt like I was missing a few bits. So, target here. A little bit jumpy, but early 40s. Sort of a double, double sounds, which could be the shape of it. Could just be, could just be generating a halo, but it might also be two bits. So we'll get down there and have a little look. Let's see what we can see. Okay, so I've got a hole here. I've got the target out, I'll show you what it is in a second, but I just wanted to show you this sidewall. That is rock solid. That is so tough. It's practically concrete. <laughs> so yeah, I managed to get through it with the uh, premium shovel, but that thing will cut through practically anything. That is really tough ground. Okay, so I've got it, whatever it is, and it's this. Now, I don't know what that is. I'll get it in focus, there we go. Obviously got some pattern on it. It was a bit of a halo it was producing because of the shape. It's clearly broken off of something. Now, is that modern? Or is that old? What do you think? Hey, eh? can you identify that for me? There's quite a bit of history in this area, so who knows? Any thoughts? Drop me a comment down below. Otherwise, onward. Okay, just before I look at this next one, I should say that next weekend I'll be away at the LP Weekender in Dorset. It's a whole weekend, we're camping out and a uh, whole weekend of detecting. Um, I'll be out both days detecting, so uh, just be aware that next week's video may be slightly later than usual, may not be out on the usual day, um, because I'll have a little bit of extra, need a little bit of extra time to get everything edited through, but I'll still get a video out that week. Probably do one video for each of the two days, so uh, keep your eye out for that. I'm really looking forward to the next weekend. Um, yeah. Can't wait for that. Now I've got a target here, uh, 26, 27. And it's a really good example of how to use the Faro check because if you look, I'm just, I've pinpointed it, it's there, right? It's just under the coil. And there's nothing coming up on the Faro check, right? Now, if you do what you're supposed to do, i.e. if you do what the manual says, and you go wide. There we go. You can see the Faro check is now starting to light up. It's a very deep target. So you're not guaranteed to get a good ferro check 100% of the time. It's better when it's a bit closer, but that just shows nice wide slow motions. Let the coil leave the target and come back and you'll get yourself a ferro check. Right, let's pinpoint that properly. Just there, let's have a look and see what we have found. Okay, so it was showing deep. I've just got the clod open. I'm gonna check with the pinpointer just to get an idea. See if we need to go deeper. Oh, no. no. I think it might be there. Oh, we've got a coin. There's a coin. Let's have a look and see what we've got. I think that's a tempe. 
modern day 10 pence piece. Uh, you know, well, it's the old lion design, but it is still a spendable one. Let's just see if we can get the date off it down there. Uh, 1992. There we are. 10 pence piece. Beautiful on wood. All right, so this was coming up 20. Um, wasn't getting much extra information on it. I just found it, it's very small. And I don't know what it is. What do you think? Let me zoom in. Guessing modern. Some sort of a rivet or something. What do you think? Any thoughts? Any ideas? A bit of tat? A bit of something? No idea. It's not a coin, it's not jewellery. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm guessing it's modern, so I'm not going to treat it as anything particularly interesting. But if you know different, drop me a comment down below. Onward. Okay, so it's coming up 21 on the legend. Loud and proud. Got a coin, it's small. With those numbers, I reckon it's going to be a 5p. Let's have a little closer look. Together. Yep, five pence piece. Thistle design. There it is. Should be a silvery colour. And it's uh, brand new. It's been in the ground a little while. 2003 is the date. That little dent in it. That definitely wasn't me this time. There we are. Five p. Cool. On board. Okay, so I've just dug myself a little mini clod. And look, it's not often you see something that shiny in the ground. I'm just going to uh, dig it out, but I'm pretty sure this is going to turn out to be a knife. Like a, like a dinner knife or something. So, let me extract it, and I'll come back to you in a moment. BRB. Okay, so I've extracted the shiny item from the hill, and it is indeed a knife. <laughs> Stainless steel. Here we are. Onward. Okay, so I said I only had a couple of hours here today, and I wasn't kidding. With the digging conditions today, it was really, really slow going. But let's have a quick look and see what I've managed to find in my short time here. We've got uh, half a pair of spectacles. We've got that uh, little rivety thing. Uh, spendables wise, we've got uh, 2p, 10p, 5p, 1p, so 15, 16, 17, 18 pence. Uh, we've got that dinner knife, of course, and we've got that. Not sure if it's scrap or whether it's something. If you know what it is, please, please, please let me know. Cool. Well, don't forget, I'll be out next week with the LP guys at the LP Weekender in Dorset. Hopefully we'll find some really nice things over in those uh, gorgeous historic fields over in Dorset. Um, don't forget the video will be a little bit later next week. It'll probably be two videos, one for the Saturday, one for the Sunday. So keep a little eye out for those. In the meantime, have yourselves a fantastic week, everybody, and I'll see you soon. Take care.